Hey everybody, Kratos with Cena here, and today we're ta for the 150 what, 155th episode, we're taking a vehicle with a 155 millimeter gun, the Palmaria. Oh, crap! I just realized what mission this is. Okay, this is not a great mission for uh, this particular vehicle, but uh, we'll do our best. We'll see what happens. Anyway, the Palmaria, named after uh, an Italian island, uh, was supposed to be a uh, self-propelled howitzer for the export market. Now, it only found uh, some customers in, I think it was like Algeria, Niger Nigeria, and Argentina. And... Uh, 210-ish vehicles have been made so far. Well, actually, that's kind of the limit. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, production ended in the late 90s. And it basically comes down to a 155mm gun to fire NATO standard NATO artillery ammo uh, in the Otto Breda uh, turret on top of a modified OF-40 hull. And... Man, this thing looks wild next to all these other tanks. But... Uh, it was supposed to be an export uh, variant uh, to help pad uh, the Italian defense industry. And not enough were sold, and they... they uh, not enough interest worldwide. They even tried to sell to the uh, United Arab Emirates and got nowhere. I love how this rocket's falling like a mortar. <laughs> but, uh... So, uh, and this big, huge gun on here in real life uh, can shoot up to uh, about 24 kilometers, a little over 24 kilometers. Uh, that range can be extended through specialized ammo like rocket assisted ammo. Uh, the voice acting in this mission is so cringy. It's so bad because it doesn't match the characters at all. Samuel sounds disinterested. Like, Gail is supposed to be... I mean, she's supposed to be terrifying. Like, angry all the time, ready to fight anyone and everyone. And we get this mousy little girl that's afraid of everything. And it just doesn't match. And Samuel sounds completely disinterested. He sounds like that voice actor didn't even want to be there that day. Oh, hey, okay. Oh, splashed. Make him drive through this nonsense. Crap. Come on. There we go, 500. All right. So, th uh, this gun does qual uh, have some pretty neat effects of being able to shoot negative four or. Uh, well, I should have dropped it on top of that Merkaba, but. Look at that guy. But, uh. It can go negative four and plus 70. And that plus 70 allows it to do that super extended range. Uh, uh, 
Oh, it hit the back of that VT4. I'm probably never going to get a kill on this, but, you know, I can try. And what's, like, what kind of what sucks on this particular vehicle is my, co my coax is 762, whereas on most of the other, uh, most of the other uh, artillery pieces have, like, you know, the M2... 50 cal or the maybe the uh the dishka Ugh. see gail the writing like from all the all that literature, especially from this last battle path, presents her as not afraid of anything, is willing to fight the whole planet to, to prove it. Oh, nice! <laughs> but, uh, meanwhile, in this thing, she presents as scared of absolutely anything and everything and doesn't want anything to do with this whole fight. And it's super confusing. Is he going to come up here so I can just shoot him in half? Come on, man! Get it! No. Sorry. You have to commit. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna drive backwards 900 miles because you're afraid. Okay, not the tank I wanted to hit, but sure. <laughs> Alright, I'll take that. See, I keep hitting everything but what I want. Alright, too much of these useless vehicles parked in my way. <laughs> I don't know why my gun's having such a hard time with this. Oh, cool. They damaged it enough that I got the cook off. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Ah, stop shooting at me!
Ah, oh, crap. Here I pop. Oh, that was a wimpy little hit. What's going on with this? Yes! All of you is broken. <laughs> Let's tear apart that whole tank in one shot. Alright, well, let's get up there. If we, con if we conquer this point up here, the, the spawn point moves. This mission is so long. <sighs> this voice acting is so cringy. It's just bad. Ah, oh, swing and a miss. Oh, that was a solid smack. You don't get to move, loser. Set down. Whoa, that wasn't even close. <laughs> oh, what is that ugly thing? <laughs> Not the tank I wanted to hit, but sure. I mean, if I can't get kills, the least I can do is deny. Ah, swing and a miss. Boy, he's getting hammered by a hundred guns. I feel like we should be pushing forward. Yeah, bad splash. Oh, this is not good. I don't like this. Surprise! Ah, no way! It put me here. Oh, that's such crap. Let's just hope they don't notice me. The reason why I wanted to be nowhere near this point is that you end up having to fight through like a hundred tanks just to get to the point. Yep, see here's a new wave spawning in. Crap, and they're going around too.
It is weird to see these tanks spawn in, though. Ugh. These guys are fighting this group, not understanding. We still have to fight the 800 tanks that are now spawning on top of the point. We will never get there. I can't really do anything to help over there, and quite frankly, I don't want to. There's this kicking off. Get off our phone, Doc. Sam, no, don't. Just focus. More are on the way. What the hell? You were just there. Why are they coming from the town? Oh, I got him. That was amazing. <laughs> hitting something. <laughs> cool. Come on. Oh, that was a weak hit. Whoa, what? <laughs> How did I do that? I wonder if that crab's still there. If I shot here, it would just blow up. Oh my gosh, I got him! <laughs> that was a total guess. Alright, so now we're going to try to cook this mess off. Swing and a miss. Yep, see, this is what happens. The enemy will endlessly spawn in this area over here, and I think over here, and it just goes on forever. Yep, see, there they are, spawning. And there's...
pin dead's a nightmare. It, it's, it's astonishing that they think we can do this. Well, eight kills. Doing a lot better than I thought. <laughs> a measly nine points, but worth it. Oh, missed it by an inch. They've got to get on point. We need to start capping this mess. Holy crap, that's a lot of crabs. Ooh, this isn't good. Why am I spotting things? Did you get stuck, you little idiot? Ah, missed. Well, let's see if we can cook you off. Quick, ambush him. Nothing on his tank works. Get him! He can't hurt you. Go! Ah, uh, the ERA. Ah, uh, fine, I'll go. Jeez. This is really going to get me killed again. But I don't know where these guys are getting all their freaking ammo. Would that be something if it hit him? Smack! Boom! Great. No way! How did I bounce to that? Finally, it's over. Jeez! That's how we roll New York style, bitch. It wasn't so tough after all. Scale times man. This guy's voice does not say New York. I'm not sure what that accent is, but it's not New York. Nothing. Let me all of them are empty. No bodies anywhere. What the hell? Scale? Uh, that was a frustrating battle. We could have been done with that 10 minutes ago if these guys weren't fighting every single tank that existed. Man, that was painful.
I only died once, though, which is impressive. I really thought I would have cashed out all of my uh, respawns. But I made it. And basically every kill I got was a long-range kill, so <laughs> that really adds up on, on this challenge. We've only got a couple more days on this uh, battle path, but yeah, I'm still going to try. But that wasn't bad. Palmyra's really good. I do I do need to figure out how to get my targeting ring cinched in a little more. But I don't really play artillery enough to, like, you know, spec a commander and crew for it. But, yeah, I can make it work. It's not bad. I do like the Palmyra. That gun is comical on AFVs at, like, point-blank range. You just give them a smack and they explode in one shot. But, I mean, when you're shooting a, a shell that weighs as much as a car at a small car, it's going to hurt. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that match. If you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, huge thank you to those that already have. If you want to see a tank comment down below and you know I'll see what I can do I don't have any of the tier 10 progressions I will see you guys in the next mission until then have fun